another week in the life of John. <laughs> Dear God, find me content. Let content come in my way, in my direction for this week's vlog. Because last week I was clutching at straws a wee bit. And um, I feel like I'm going to do the same this week. It's, I blame lockdown. I blame the fact I'm not driving. I blame... Yeah, I blame those two facts. But man, I got my licence in today, actually. Because uh, I've not had my licence for a wee while. I had to get it taken off for a reason. A reason I will not share. I had a seizure. Last year. Maybe two years ago now. Last year. Yeah, last year. Anyway, um, so I had to hand in my licence, just a precaution. Um, don't worry about the seizure, um, I've not got any health conditions of that, it's all good. It's all good. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've got my driving licence in, so hopefully I'll be driving soon. There we go, there's a bit of content. There's a bit of content. Oh, I'll be driving soon. So, I need to get my car back on the road, and then... Hopefully my adventures could be a bit, bit further out, a bit more, I don't know, take you to different places. I'll be good, I'll, I'll be good baby, I'll take you to different places, come on, come on. <laughs> Second coffee of the day. <coughs> That's all I do, is drink coffee. Um, like today, this morning, I was having one of those lucid dreams where, well probably not this morning, late afternoon, I was having one of those lucid dreams where you've kind of got control of what's happening and I was just contemplating in my head what reason is there to get up? Because in a dream everything's a wee bit more, more seamless, a bit smoother, so it takes less effort so that's like one reason to just stay in the dream. And you can just do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want in the real world to a degree, but in a lucid dream, it's just a bit easier. And and like like I say, what point? What's the point of getting up? T to do what? To have a couple of coffees. That's it. That is it. And I'm like a. You know, like humans evolved to survive harsh climates and whatnot, and I'm living in a I'm living in such a controlled environment that I'm not like I'm not complaining. I'm grateful for it. It's weird. It's weird. It's like at the same time, I would like to be pushed. I would like a bit of hardship, but I just wake up in a cosy bed and stroll about, have a coffee, stroll about in my dressing gown. It's like I'm living the life of a rich man. That'll be the good stop at the door. The best thing to do when you're bored is choose a song in your head and press play. Can you meet the TV a sec? Sorry? Can you meet the TV a minute? Yeah, I'll pause it. So yeah, you choose a song in your head, you press play. You set up the camera in, a, in an angle and you have a wee boogie. Are wee you boogie. Yeah. And then you wait for it. You wait for it. The best vlog in town. Keep watching folks. Just after shitting myself, uh, my mum said she heard something in my room. So I went and stormed in my room and this was on my bed. <laughs> it was one in the morning on a Tuesday. No, it's, yeah, Tuesday, yeah. Um, well, technically, Wednesday now. We're about to go for a run. Uh, it's meant 
tough win for the road in the today, but I just woke up too late, so I'm going now. I really can't be bothered. I could wait and just do it tomorrow when I wake up, but there's a chance I won't, I won't do it, so I'm just going to do it now. Why not? Why not? I've also got this gizmo to get me through the dark. Last night, um, got my got a personal record, so I'm awfully proud of that. Um, what else was I going to say? I'm awfully proud of that. Done it at night. The good thing about the clearing that you're gonna do, you're gonna. My mum's just been pissed right now. She's in the background dancing about. Um, the good thing about the clearing that you're going to go for a run or the camera is that you've got to go for a run. So, that's probably one of the main motivators that kept me going. I say I'm doing a 5k, I'm going to be doing a 5k. I'm a man of my word, boy. You know, when you go for a 5k, when you do a 5k run, it's a spiritual experience. You push yourself to your near enough limits. I still haven't found my limits exactly, you know. I still think I could push myself more. I feel like if, if, if it was a life or death situation, you know, I do wonder how much could I push myself? 10k perhaps? Perhaps even further? And, you know, without stopping, could I manage that? Maybe, maybe. Um, I asked my mates. When we, when we were at Broughty Ferry, going into the water, do you reckon you could swim to the other side of the water? And they said, they said they reckon they could. Um, one of them said they reckon they'd probably get swept away halfway through it. But, you know, I, I don't know myself. It's the will, it's the will to survive, the will to live, which would push you, so it's how much you want to live. How strong that is. So it would be cool to be able to see that, but but there's it's a risky game, so I'm not going to be able to see that. But yes, yeah, so that's like an edge you get in. That's like an edge you get doing cardio. It's like you get to push your limits and see how far you know you can push yourself and where you can land yourself and what you've got left in you. It's a it's a journey of self. Discovery, in a way, it's exploring yourself in the face of adversity, you know. You know, when you're doing a 5k, it's just you and the road. And the dog. Yeah. <laughs> ah. When you're doing a 5k, it's just you and the road. So, you've got to... You've got to find peace with the road. Because the road will show you yourself, you know. Like I say, it's a, a journey of self-discovery. Um, you've just got to persevere. Eventually the road opens up to you and eventually you'll be doing a, a 5k for a wee while and you'll be like, oh shit, I'm already here. It gets, to, it gets like that, you know? Like it's, it, it really is a journey of self-discovery and a journey of perseverance. In grip. Grip. See when you haven't got a job to dedicate yourself to, and you're not really doing anything. You're not got uni or anything like, like I do right now. What is there to life? It's just food. It's, it's eating, waking up, going to sleep, and then just finding things to fill your day with. It's so boring. Being bored is terrible. It's so shit. It's the hair piece coming out. 
coming out. How did you feel breaking your fast? 40 hours? Well, no, it wasn't for you, it was probably, it was probably like a 24 hour fast. Starting uni next week, so that should be good. Um, we got of education from a brain, you know. So it's good to do a bit of that. Yeah. Doing a cool day. If you haven't already, check out my exercise video. About to go driving for the first time in a long time. <laughs> Driving went pretty smooth, smooth as a baby's bum. Eh? Hey mum? Yes, it did. Smooth as a baby's bum. Yep. Got some pasta with seafood here. Looking forward to this. Mussels in there, prawns, uh, squid. Is that it? Is that it, ma? That's it, yeah. I was going to put it in a Hmm. About to smoke a cigar. Why? I'm not sure. Look at this fool. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. I'll be my son. I'll be my wife and my son. I'm kidding. Mom's not looking very amused. I'm going to go to a place called Tilly Barker today, uh, but I've decided not to. I've got a sore knee for some reason. Um, it's not an excuse. Well, it's a reason. I could still do it, but I also want to run as well. I just feel like it'd be too much on my knee. I'm also just so tired. I just want to sleep. I wish I could just vlog my, my dreams. Yeah, I have plenty of content. Anyway, uh, so I need to come up with. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, I could do. So, anyway, um. I'm 
Falls. Here's a little bit of content for you. Downloaded this app, got recommended it. It's called B.com. And basically, something went wrong here. Basically, it is a mining app. You mine for this uh, cryptocurrency called B. B E E. And if it loads, I can show you it. There we go. Um, so I've got three people in my team. Only one person's mining right now. Um, but right now we're making 50 bees an hour and it's on a 24 hour cycle. Right now we've got, so far I've mined 37 coins. So each coin so far is only worth like, uh, it's like a fifth of 5p or something like that. So it's 37 times that, which is pretty shit. But Hopefully, in the future, the price of the the value of B will increase. So you know, you know, if that was ten pound pop, thirty seven times ten, three hundred seventy quid. You know. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Uh, then you get the your people in your team. So the more people you've got in your team. The more miners you've got on your team, the more you make. So referring people, it's in your interest to refer people. So if you are thinking of, if you are thinking of going on setting up a B account, use this referral code, John Stephen Reed, no capitals. Yeah. What other content can I come up with? What have I got here? What have I got? Magnesium oil. I use this. I use this now and again. I just lather it on my, on my, my stomach. It's supposed to absorb I mean, magnesium. Magnesium is meant to be one of the essential electrolytes in your body. Responsible for, a, for hundreds of things in your body. Apparently a deficiency in it is uh, associated with anxiety. So, we bit of magnesium for the body. I don't know if it works or not. I bought it a while ago and I'm just using it. Using it up until it's finished and then we'll see if I get more anxious without it. <laughs> uh, what else have I got? What else do I have? Some of you might like this. This is a... It's an incense burner. You put, the, you put an incense cone in there, so... I have one of these. My color. Grab one of these incense cones, you light it, it starts smoking, and then you place one of these over it, and the smoke comes out of its mouth and out the back. And it's pretty cool, it's a Native American. I love a Native American. And it's a horn as well. I don't know what it's from, but a bull or a some sort of sheep, a ram. It's solid, like, it's cool. They just walk in and then come back out. They're on a loop, they're like an NPC in a video game. They just come in, go in a loop, come back out. Uh, he's always looking for the cat, that's his mission. That's my mum working away. That's my mum ordered a new microwave. It is bloody huge. It looks like it's from the 80s or something. That was the, the current microwave. This isn't the now current microwave. It looks like something out of some futuristic 80s. It's like a cyberpunk or that. Breaking free. Dog's life. A simple life, a good life. Especially our dogs. Check that, check the grass though. This is this is the damage Colin's done to the grass. It used to be grassy. 
now it's very muddy. There's like a hole there. He's also digging up over there some holes. Oh, it's so cold right now. Yep. Beautiful view. Beautiful sunny day. I'm about to have a coffee and a cigar and sit outside and soak up some of those rays. By rays, I mean the sun. Any? Oh, Callan's peeing. Great. He was just outside too. Now he's peeing. Bad boy. This here is our Christmas tree. We got it. Uh, we got a, we got one that was plantable. So I planted that the other day. Christmas all year round. This is a teal plant we got. So this plant is about. It looks like a teal, but it's actually a cactus. I'm like Hugh Hefner right now, sitting out here in my dressing gown, with a cigar, got a coffee. It's really superb, bro. Got the sun out. Just need some girls, yeah? Just need some girls. My gangster, or my gangster. I can pray gangster like two people. We've got an Indian from a place called the Lime Tree in Cooperangus. This here's the what's that? The chicken chat. What's that chicken chat? That's the starter chicken chat. Smells good. It smells very good. Yeah, please, yeah. Um, as a main, I've ordered the chicken. What's it called again? It's a cutie. Chicken's a cutie. It's uh, probably one of the best curries I've ever had, to be honest. So if you're living in Dundee, it's worth the trip with Cooper Angus. I think that's it there. It's stayed, stayed oily and. Tangy, tangy is probably the best word for it. It's from Goa. Goa. Mm -hmm. Why oh, I can't Goa. Where's Goa? Where's Goa? Is that in India? I think it's an island in the Indian Ocean, I think. Mm. I could be wrong. Mm. Well, cheers Goa. I'm going to go ahead and eat this curry. Watched two films last night. Uh, watched watched this film here, Instant Family. Brilliant. I totally recommend it. Good. It's a good feel good film. Makes you it's sad like it's makes you a bit teary at times, but it's good. It's a good comedy. And the most recent X Men film, which was okay. It was good. It was good. Just about to download, uh, not download, just about to pay for the Conor McGregor pay-per-view tonight. The UFC, UFC card. Um, I've got some picks here all. My picks. One sec. These are my picks for who I think is going to win the fight. So... Start from the bottom here. Between these two dudes, I have no idea who they are. 
I think this dude's gonna win just purely on I think I don't know, I've got the like a dark hair biased. Dark hair, dark beard biased. But it's anyone's fight to be honest, but I'm just um yeah, I think that guy's gonna win. Uh between these two that dude there looks more dominant, so that's kind of what I'm basing it on, more dominant looking. Khalil Roundtree, I think he's pretty good, like, I think he'll win. This is the last fight, apparently. Um, that's, uh, that's his retirement fight, I think, that's what I heard. Could be speaking absolute shit, but... Pena, I think she'll win. I'm basing that on more dominant looking as well, to be honest. Junior, I think he's gonna win. I've just heard a, a, wee, a wee bit more about him. I heard about this dude. He was a bit of a pretty boy, to be honest, so. We'll see. Uh, Arman Tisarukian versus Matt Frivola. I think Tisarukian's gonna win just because he looks more dominant again, more masculine. Uh, Marina Rodriguez versus Amanda Ribas. I think she's gonna win. I don't know what I'm basing this on. She looks stronger, eh? She looks more grounded. Her neck looks bigger. <laughs> so, Andrew Sanchez, he looks like a Justin Bieber. So, a Justin Bieber haircut. Versus Mahmoud Maradouf. I'm basing that on. Dominance, the look of dominance as well. Uh, Joanna Calderwood, I should be supporting her because she's a Scottish fighter, but I think Jess Guy's going to win. So I think she's got wrestling. And I'm not sure about Calderwood, I don't know if Calderwood's got wrestling. So. Michael Chandler versus Dan Hooker. I wouldn't mind seeing Michael Chandler win, but I think it'll be Dan Hooker. Uh, and finally, I want Conor McGregor to win. But I think Dustin Poirier is going to take it. And I think he's going to take it by submission. But I would like to see Conor McGregor win. But I don't think he's got the... He's not... Like, what's his motivation? He's he's already minted. He's already got a lot of money. He can't be a tourist in this game. That's what I say. So. What's going to... What's going to have him pushing on? What's he really fighting for? In a cage, in cage fighting, in the sport of cage fighting, what is he fighting for? Dustin Poirier is wanting to become champ. McGregor's already been champ. He's he's already minted. There's no reason for him to really be there. He's. I heard him in an, in an interview. He wanted to have a good highlight reel. Is that is that a strong enough reason to be in a cage? To have a a good highlight reel. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, those are my picks. That's in there. Cor it's about to begin, Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier, buzzing. So you will have known by now that Dustin Poirier won. I don't know why, oh yeah, it's because I said submission. Buzzing. Buzzing. I wanted to see McGregor win, but I like Dustin Poirier. Um, these were my picks. Got that dude. Got that dude. Didn't get that dude. I got that dude on a bet, and I actually betted on him, on it against him, and got that, that came in, but I didn't, I didn't choose him for the start, no reason. Pena, Carlos Jr., true face, he lost. I did win him, and I might put on that. Maybe you this tell. I did there, I put him on. I don't even, I don't really know these people to be honest that well. Rebass, I lost. Who was her opponent again? Oh yeah, yeah, what? Wow. How did she win again? Fuck, uh, it was a good win too. It wasn't submission. Oh, was it a good win? Oh, honestly, man. I remember his shape. I can't remember. Uh, I can't 
can't remember if that was his decision or not. No, well, uh, she's right there, KO, TKO, third round. Uh, I still can't remember it. That's annoying. Anyway, I'm sure it was good. It was good. I remember that it was good, but I can't remember it. Uh, Muradov. I thought it was okay, it was a bit boring. Jessica I I should have put it on Calderwood, which was a lot better. Um, it was interesting about her and her Muay Thai style. Apparently, like every every exchange that the two had, Calderwood would always be on top of the exchange. She'd always, she would never let the space not be filled, if that makes any sense. She'd, like any time you'd back away, she'd throw a kick, like a high kick or something, just to, just to, just to punish her opponent, almost. And apparently that's like a Muay Thai thing to do. I think I've paraphrased that not very well, like, but, yeah, interesting. Oops. Uh, Hooker, he got KO'd or TKO'd uh, by Michael Chandler. That was quite surprising. But that was good. I, I like Michael Chandler. Chandler. Um, so that'll be good to good to see him. Hopefully, fight for the title against Dustin Poirier. If that's the case. And then Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor, which was a great fight. I really like Dustin there, eh? he's a hero, like, legend. Right, that's it. Okay, so that's it for this week. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Peace.